In this video, I would like to talk about using the Desmos online calculator to graph a function and graph the derivative of that function and also restrict the domain. And then we could use the graph to determine relative extrema, relative maximums and relative minimums. So we're going to start here at the homepage, desmos.com. Now, you could enter the graphing calculator by clicking this graphing calculator icon in the center or uh, if you want, and this is optional, you don't have to, uh, you could log in if you have an existing Desmos account or you could sign up. Uh, that allows you to save graphs and pull them up later. Uh, I have an account, but I'm not logged in right now. I'm just going to use Desmos for this one example. So let's go ahead and click graphing calculator. And that takes us here. And so let's, let's work with the function. I already have one typed up, so I don't have to waste time typing it. And we have uh, this fourth degree polynomial. And now you can, you know, you can move this graph around. You could zoom in, you could zoom out. Uh, I have a touch screen, so it's a little easier for me. But if not, you have these icons up here, plus minus. So that's zoom in, zoom out, and you could use the mouse to click and drag uh, for whatever viewing window you want. Now, let's say you want to restrict the domain of this function. So let's say uh, you only want to look in the window, let's say, negative 0.5 to positive 3.5. So right now, this function is obviously, it's a polynomial, so it's defined on all real numbers. Uh, so we want to restrict the domain. And the way we do this in Desmos is using the curly brackets. So right after the function you type, if you just want to display some interval, whether it's uh, infinite in one direction or a finite interval, we use these uh, curly brackets. And let's just say we want to show uh, the graph of the function for x values between negative 0.5 and positive 3.5. So we'll, we'll write it as an inequality. So negative 0 0.5 is less than or equal to x. Uh, so in Desmos, the less than or, or equal to symbol you could find it uh, down here, this little keyboard icon. So you can click less than or equal to, or if you just if you're just typing, uh, it's uh, you type two keys, the less than symbol, and then when you hit the equal sign on the keyboard, it converts the less than to a less than or equal to. So negative 0.5 is less than or equal to x. So now you've seen it's restricted the graph to the left. It, it's removed the portion of the graph to the left of negative 0.5, and x is less than or equal to 3.5. Okay, so now you see we have a uh, portion of the graph and you see there's some, some extreme values, some relative extrema. Uh, so let's, let's look at the uh, extrema just on the open interval. Uh, we don't need to worry about the endpoints, but it looks like we have a, an, a, a relative minimum here. And if you click on the graph where you see an extrema. So you see, you see Desmos automatically sort of labels those extreme, those points that contain an extreme value in gray. And if you click on those points, it will free, it will, it'll display those points on the graph. Okay, so easy as that. We don't have to go through the first derivative test and, and, and do, you know, uh, and analyze the sign of the derivative and when the derivative changes sign. Uh, with Desmos, it's just Type in the function that you want to graph, and then Desmos automatically gives you those extreme values. Now, if we wanted to graph the derivative of this function, it's even easier. So I'll add another line, f of x, and we don't have to use the power rule to find the derivative if we just want the graph. If we just want the graph of the derivative, we simply type f prime of x, f prime of x. And now that blue graph is showing the graph of the derivative. And now the, the derivative is restricted to the same domain as the original function. And now we could visually see this relationship between the derivative, which is blue, and the function, which is red. When the function has an extreme value. So there's a relative maximum here 
when x is equal to about 1.423, well, the derivative is equal to zero at that same x value, 1.423. And so we know this is, this is that relationship that we've been studying when the derivative is equal to zero, that's where you potentially could have an extreme value. And in this case, uh, because we're dealing with a polynomial, uh, which is defined on all real numbers, when the derivative is zero, you have an extreme value, either a max or a min. So same thing here, when we have this relative minimum at 2.577, and the minimum value is the y value. The x values are the, the location where that minimum happens. Same thing. We have the value of the derivative is equal to zero at that same x value. So function has a relative minimum. So the derivative is equal to zero. And for those of you who are working on my calculus project right now, uh, this is what the graph should look like. Um, that you copy into, you screenshot into your uh, analysis. So you, what you want to do is label. So in this case, on the open interval, now on, on your project, it'll be a different open interval, but on this open interval, not so not counting the endpoints, we see a relative maximum here and a relative minimum here. Oop. So this is what you should be copying into your paper. So if zoomed in, domain is restricted, you use the curly brackets for that, and this, this is a, a perfect sort of visual, uh, visualization of the relationship between the function and the derivative. So for example, in this project, the function itself is representing the amount of Arctic sea ice and so the derivative, which is the rate of change, is telling us how fast the amount of Arctic sea ice is changing. So when the derivative is positive, the function is increasing. Right? So when the function is increasing, that means more ice is occurring. The amount of ice is increasing. So the water is freezing. And when the derivative is negative, that's when the function is decreasing. So that means the amount of ice is decreasing or the ice is melting. And so down here, this is the, the uh, a, a minimum value for the derivative. Well, that, that's, that's when the ice is melting the fastest. And then over here, this maximum, this relative maximum value of the derivative, that's when the ice is freezing the fastest. So when the derivative is, is positive, the amount of ice is increasing, so the water is freezing. Okay, so that's it. Very easy on Desmos to restrict the domain. We just use uh, curly brackets and an inequality, a compound inequality. And then for the extreme value, click on the point. And Desmos gives you the point containing the max, the relative maximums and minimums. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful.